right, I am back for tutorial number four. This time we are going to learn how to do the three quarter stitch. Now I showed you the tent stitch, which the tent stitch was this right here, okay? And I'm getting ready to show you a three quarter stitch. These are called fractionals. So when you hear about fractional stitching, that's what this is. Now I wanna show you really quickly, there are two little issues that are gonna come up as you are stitching. One is, and I'm gonna zoom in on this, your thread can start to get kind of like twisted. So I just take my needle, a lot of times they'll say, let it dangle and twist. Well, dangling and letting it untwist has never ever worked for me. So what I typically do is I will take my, I'm just taking my needle and I'm turning it. Right now it's twisting up more. So I'm gonna go the other direction and untwist it where it's smooth. Also your tail, as you're stitching, your tail will start to, because the, the thread here is getting into the fabric, your tail's gonna seem longer and longer and you don't want your tail going all the way down here because then it will start getting stitched in with everything else and it's gonna be a mess. Um, I've had some of my beginner students do that and then I have to clip it out. We have to start all over again, it's just a mess. <clears throat> and sometimes that just happens. So what I do is I just take my needle and I just gently pull up a little bit and it shortens my tail. Okay, so I'm gonna untwist it a little bit. I'm gonna bring this back up to the front and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna come down a little bit more. Okay, so there is the bottom left of that stitch. So here's how I do a three quarter stitch. You can do it four different ways. So I'm gonna show you all four corners. So if I'm gonna make a three quarter stitch and it'll show you like it'll have a symbol for that particular it's like a triangle so what you're doing is you you make a half stitch and then you have to make another little quarter stitch in it to make it a three quarter stitch so I'm going to show you the bottom right how you do it on a bottom right corner first okay so I'm going to do my railroad and I'm gonna go it's bottom left to top right. Get it in the camera there. <laughs> okay, so there's a half stitch. Now, I'm gonna come up in my bottom right, pull it through. Now, most people, when they do this quarter stitch to make this a three quarter stitch, you're gonna make a quarter stitch to meet the half stitch. They will go in here I typically go out on this side of it because I simply think that it makes it look tighter and neater, when, especially when you've got all kinds of other stitches around it. And one thing that you're gonna notice, and I'm gonna show you on a different block here, with Ada, and of course with the other even weaves, this is an even weave, it's just a, a blockier kind of even weave, you have threads You've got, um, let's see, I'm ashamed of myself now, warp and weft, yeah. Um, so you've got like this one, let's see how close I can get. This one, they're going across horizontal, this one's vertical. Now what you wanna do is, like what I do if it's horizontal, I kinda move my needle a little bit and I try to pierce it and go in the middle like that. Or if it's or vertical, I pierce it. I just kinda do it like that, where it's in the middle. Ada, when you're doing um, fractionals, Ada is probably um, your least friendly of the fabrics because when you get to linen and even weave, um, that's stitched two over two because of the way that it's designed. So like instead of this one square, being an X, you actually would go over two squares. So it'd be this way and this way. Um, and that way, when you're doing your fractionals, you just go to the one hole instead of going all the way across two. So it's a little bit easier. 
Um, I will show that later, how you do that. We're, I'll show two over two later. Right now, we just want to get cross-stitching basics down. So, to finish my three-quarter, and yes, I still railroad, even though I don't think it's quite as important here. But here, see, this is going, the one beside it, I can tell since I can't see from this one, this is going horizontally, so I know this one's going vertically, so I'm just going to kind of take my needle and push down a little bit where I'm outside that one half, and that's going to take a little doing. Let's see. Sometimes they get a little stubborn, and it's hard for me to see it with the camera. Okay, so let me stop there so you can see what I've done. Okay, it's right there in the middle, but it's over that thread. Now let me slowly pull it through so that you can see what I've done. And see how it's actually on the other side. That's a three-quarter stitch, and that's a three-quarter stitch in the bottom right corner. Now I'm going to do top right corner. So I'm going to skip over this one and come here so you can see it. Top right, it's, there's your top right, so your triangle is going to be there. So I'm going to go to my bottom right. I won't try to railroad this time just so you can see it. Top left. Now I'm going to go to that top right. Come through. Okay, so there's a half stitch. Now I'm going to come in here. Remember my needle is going, it's not going on this side of the thread. It's going to go on the outside. Okay, so I'm going to have to dig in there in the middle. And sometimes it takes a little practice. You may just want to practice piercing some of these squares before you actually try the three-quarter stitch. And there's the three-quarter stitch. Here's bottom right and here's top right. Now I'm going to skip one and I'm going to do top left. So your top left is going to be this triangle area. So I'm going to start in the bottom left, go to top right, there's my half. Now I'm going to go to the top left, whatever, whichever um, corner you're wanting your three-quarter stitch to be on, um, the last hole you're coming up through is going to be in that corner. Let me just pull that up. And now I need to pierce my fabric. That's going horizontally, so I to, this isn't vertically, so I need to just, helps me sh know which direction to kind of push my needle. It makes it a little easier to go in and pull. Okay. That one's not the neatest one, but you get the idea. So that's top left. Now we're going to do bottom left. So bottom left, I'm going to go to bottom right, top left, and now to make my quarter stitch and finish it, Go bottom left, and I need to just slide it down. See where it's going past the thread on the outside, and then pull. Okay, so if you're going to do these, are not normally done several in a row. Typically, you might have a few bunched together, but not usually. So sometimes I'll have a combination, like I'll come down, I'm gonna do like a top right. So I'm gonna go bottom right to top left. And then top right. And pierce it outside the thread, pull it. And then I might have one that's right beside it to the right that's top left. And so I'm going to come in this bottom left, so right side by side, top right, and then go.
go to top left and pierce the middle of the fabric on the outside and pull. And now I've got kind of like a little triangle shape there. So in case you can't get the piercing right, let me um, let me come up through, hold on, I'm just gonna show you the piercing part, okay? So this one, I can see this one's going horizontally. And so I just, I'm sliding my thread in that direction because it'll make it easier sometimes to find a way to pierce it. I'm gonna to try to turn it at an angle so you can see it. See how it's being pierced? And then you can pull through, okay? Um, and let me do it on the one that's going vertically, which is right beside it. Okay, so this one's going up and down. So I'm kind of sliding my needle in that direction until I get it and then piercing it. That one's a little tough. Ada is a stiffer fabric, and so it shouldn't be as hard to pierce it, but yeah, and there you go. Um, so, and actually, without even realizing it, that's a quarter stitch. And you can do a quarter stitch in all these different directions. Quarter and three quarter, we might as well do them together. So I can go, I can start here and I can pierce it in the middle and go and have a quarter stitch that way. I can start from a top hole. And let's see, let me pull my thread. My thread's getting really kinky there. There we go. And then I can come down here and pierce it. I can also start from this one and I can pierce it this way in this direction. Whoop, there we go. See, sometimes I even struggle with it. That's a quarter stitch. So we have a three quarter stitch means that you have to do a half stitch and then a quarter stitch because, and that's taking up three quarters of a stitch instead of a whole one. This one here, you're only doing one little side, like a half of a, a leg is all this is. All these right here are just half of a leg. So that is a quarter stitch. So those are the main fractionals actually. Um, and these are the main stitches. I'm gonna show you one more and those will be the main ones. There are some other, there are a lot of specialty stitches. We're not gonna get into those right now because you just need to learn the basics and see if you even like this. So there's your cross stitch. This is the main one. Um, this is what you're gonna use the most. These right here are half stitches or tent stitches, T-E-N-T, -E like you pitch a tent, tent stitch. These are three quarter stitches and these are quarter stitches. So what you probably want to do is first of all, I think I would just take a needle, don't even put thread in it. Just take a needle and practice piercing, because you're not, you're not typically gonna pierce it coming up. You're actually gonna go down. As you're going down, you pierce it. So just take a needle and practice piercing the material and see if you can get the hang of it. Once you get the hang of piercing it, then you can try a quarter stitch and then a three quarter stitch. So do that first and then try to get the hang of those and then you'll be ready for the last basic tutorial that I am going to do. And I have decided for um, people who are watching me and I'm putting this on YouTube, what I have decided to do to help you learn how to read a chart is I'm going to download a free one off the internet so there won't be copyright issues. And I will show you how to read a chart and how to do a simple little design. Um, it Usually they don't have fractionals in there. They might have a little bit, but not a whole lot. 
but I'm going to show you how to read a chart and I will tell you whatever chart I get I'll tell you where to find it and that way you can try it out because what I really like people to do is to practice these stitches and then do a small kit or a small little project like um, the one that I'm going to do with my niece is this one Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to let her do this one. Um, and so I told her do this, um, and then she can decide if she's really invested in this hobby, if she really likes it. So that's what I would like for anyone who's watching these videos. These are specifically for her. I'm doing it for her, but, um, anyone who's watching this can benefit from these. So if you want to learn how to cross stitch, go for it. And I will... Uh, like I said, I will download a free pattern um, so that you can learn how to read a pattern and you can try to follow a pattern first before you decide if this is something that's really for you. So um, I hope that this has helped and I wish you happy stitching with learning these new basic stitches and I will see you next time.